Hi, I'm Adam Reeves. And I'm Peter Wilkinson, and together we're Wonderburst Films. We'd like you to join us on a journey deep into the heart of the English countryside. We'd like to take you to a slice of heaven. Why not? Why can't it be a slice? It's fine, I didn't say it couldn't be. Exactly. Come on. Every summertime, in a dreamy corner of southern England, thousands of inquisitive travellers from around the globe converge to witness one of the great unsolved mysteries of our times. Close to some of the most impressive sacred sites in the world, including Stonehenge, Avebury Stone Circle, Silbury Hill and Glastonbury Tor, vast geometric forms appear overnight in the farmers' fields. Initially starting out as simple crop circles, since the early 90s they have become highly complex, meticulous geometric glyphs. With the British summertime offering only five and a half hours of total darkness, and with diligent all-night vigils held up on the surrounding hilltops all through the season, the circles continue to appear by daybreak, as if by magic. The circle hunters that come to admire and wonder at the beauty of these works of art approach them with the reverence of dedicated pilgrims. They see them as temporary temples containing encrypted messages for humanity and its future survival. Countless observers have reported witnessing paranormal phenomena, particularly glowing orbs of light moving in and above the fields around the time a crop circle appears. Every circle hunter has their own theory as to who makes the crop glyphs. Are they messages from higher intelligences than our own, trying to awaken humanity to its highest potential? Some believe they are keys to unlock our collective unconscious. Others believe they hold the new blueprint what some are calling the paradigm shift, a new dawn for humanity. One that is more harmonious, based on principles of our interconnectedness with one another, the Earth and the cosmos. Or are they just an elaborate hoax by people with a highly advanced understanding of geometry and good nighttime invisibility skills? The British media tell us that they're all made with planks of wood, rope and step ladders. But this doesn't explain why there's never any sign of damage in the fields. And why the wheat is laid down in intricate weaves often up to five layers deep, swirling elegantly in all directions. The stalks are gently bent but not broken, always bent about an inch off the ground. After close scientific scrutiny, the stalks are thought to have been subject to intense blasts of heat that cause them to gently soften without causing damage, and tiny holes perforate the stalk where they have been bent. These features distinguish the formations from ones that are known to be created by underground gangs of hoaxers. Even the fact that we know some are hoaxers only adds more intrigue to the story, but doesn't seem to deter those who believe that something more mysterious is at work. For the crop circle hunters, their headquarters for the summer is the Silent Circle Cafe, a resource centre operating out of a village church hall and monitoring the action in the fields. The community comes here to find where the latest patterns are and discuss theories and ideas with fellow travellers. The Silent Circle is the hub of the action, a hotbed of intrigue. It's like the restaurant at the end of the universe, attracting a variety of colourful characters, such as UFO researchers, earth energy geomancers, metaphysical philosophers, shamans, Native American elders, and engineers of anti-gravity technology.
Wonderburst Films is going to be based at the Silent Circle for this year's summer season, filming a documentary about the people who go there and what crop circles mean to them. We'll document the action as it unfolds, setting out neither to prove nor disprove, but rather to show the true humanity at the heart of this often misrepresented scene. As you can imagine, spending time in crop circle country is like being deep in a web of mystery and wonder and at times contradiction. In a 24 hour period, you can swing from believing that all the glyphs have to be made by the human hand to feeling like they just have to be made by extraterrestrial or celestial forces. Your mind can be totally discombobulated with everyone's personal theories and all of their experiences. So what we feel is important for our film, Silent Circle, is to simply capture the atmosphere and the excitement, the fun and the beauty, and of course the imaginative designs. We will attempt to neither promote nor negate any personal viewpoint, but allow the story to unfold, giving you a glimpse of the action on the ground, or if we spot a UFO, in the air. We're using crowdfunding to bring our film Silent Circle to fruition. If you're not familiar with the crowdfunding process, it's where a group or an individual with a creative project asks the online community to support them. It means that you don't have to go to conventional funding sources like a, a bank or a wealthy investor and it brings the power back to the hands of the creative individuals. It also means that People like you, who feel inspired by projects they like the look of, but want to know more about, can get involved and feel like they're part of it and see it through to its final conclusion. So if you feel moved to donate to the project by what you've seen and heard, then we offer our gratitude in advance. Thanks very much for your generosity and for your inspiration. Uh, also, if you'd like to be part of the action, then please come and find us. You know where to find us. We'll be at the Silent Circle Cafe over the summer for about 10 weeks, maybe three months, while the crop circles are happening. And um, I'm sure we'll have a lot of fun. Come and say hi and come and have a cup of tea with us. <laughs>